Everybody sing, you are the reason I
you. Thank you. You are the Lamb of God. Thank you that you are our shepherd. You said we shall not want. You said in making me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores our soul. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. For this is a day of joy 
a day of tithing, a day of gladness, a day of glory. Father, take all the honor in Jesus' name. We have come to meet with you. We pray. There's any area of shame in our life, every wall, let it fall right now in Jesus' name. Every wall of laziness, every wall of doubt and unbelief, every wall of sin, let them fall right now in Jesus' name. Father, we decree that you may increase in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. To the Lamb, to the Lamb. I want to welcome as many of you joining us. It's a good time to be in the presence of God. David said, the zeal of your house has eaten me up. It is a good time to be in the house of the Lord. For as many of you joining us for the first time, I would like to welcome you. But I need you to do two things, just two things. Spirit, like they say, just hit the subscription button, the notification bell, and we notify you. That means that if you don't get notification when we come live for today's faith clinic that holds 630, even the digging deep that holds 630, you can follow two steps. My name still remains the same, but I'm Michael Black of the Healing Balm, Balm in Gilead, where we draw down the presence of God through worship, like what we just experienced now, where we study the word and we pray. I pray that as you do so, the Lord will bless you. You can also like, share, comment, make suggestions on the comment section. And the more you do so, YouTube will recommend this message to others. It is a way to reach out to people so that what you are enjoying, others can enjoy. I pray that today you're coming here or you watching online will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. For the month of November, I was going to be focusing on the vision of our CCG, which is the our CCG vision 2032, that we are to raise about 40 million souls during this period. And the, the theme for that, for this um, thing, theme is explosive growth drive. But me, I have a topic to it. The great work of God. The great work of God. Amen. And our Bible text will be taken from John 4, which talks about Jesus and the woman at the well. We all know that particular scripture. The Bible tells us that when Jesus had an encounter with the woman, or when Jesus met with the woman, the woman had an encounter with Jesus. It says that, but the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. 25. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. 26. Jesus said to her, I who speaks to you am he. 27. And at this point, this is what we want to focus on. And at this point, his disciples came and they marveled that he talked with a woman. Yet, no one said, what do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? 28. The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the men, come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? 30. Then they went out of the city and came to him. 31. In meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat, of which you do not know. Today we're going to know the food that Jesus was talking about. He said, I have food to eat, of which you do not know. 33. Therefore the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? Jesus said to them, my food, that is the answer. My food is to do, to do the will of him who sends me and to finish his work. 35, do you not say there are still four months and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields for they are already white for harvest. And he, and he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruits for eternal life that both he who sows and he who reaps 
may rejoice together. So you can see the profound statement that Jesus made. He said, my food is to do the will of God and to finish his work on earth. There are great works of God. In the introduction, the above text is an encounter of the testimony of the salvation of a Samaritan woman that eventually led to the salvation of her city. There are several things in the account about above that serve as inspirations for our prayer today because we're going to pray today. For example, she was a woman. She had been married seven times. She was living with a man that wasn't her husband. She was living in a state of cultural and religious blindness. And the list continues. But a day came in her life that what? That changed her destiny forever. Today, I'm going to experience that encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. See that the Bible says in John 4, 33 to 34, that the disciples were wondering, says, has anyone brought him anything to eat? And Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. We see in, four, in John 9, 4, Jesus said, said, I must walk. I must walk the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can walk. Let's talk about the great work of God that is aligned to the vision 2032. And that is all about the church growth and soul winning that we're going to be praying about. But when we talk about work, you know, I've been mentioning that when you have power, last week, that when the Spirit of God is upon you, power is being manifested. And I told you that power is what? The ability to walk. And now the scripture is telling us that Jesus told the disciples, say, my food is to do the will of God. And to do what? To finish his work. That means that you and I are to do the work of God. If you want us to experience, or if you want the church to experience church growth, you must do the work. The first letter, letter W, in the word work, is that you must witness. You must witness. At 1 8, we all know the scripture that God has given us the great commission to do what? Say, so you shall receive power where the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So you must witness, my brother, my sister. You must witness. That is what Jesus did. He said, my work, my food is to, do, is to do what? The will of God. Jesus went about preaching the gospel. So you must witness, my brother, my sister. The second letter, letter O, you have been ordained to do so. You have been ordained to do so. John 15, 16 tells us, ye have not chosen me, say, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That means you have been appointed that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask to the Father in my name, he will give unto you. So you have been ordained, my brother, my sister. The moment you give your life to Christ, not only are you to witness, it is appointed for you to go out and to preach the gospel. Amen. The, first, the third letter, letter R, results. The most, for, when you work, we mentioned that for you, to have, what, for you to be productive, you need power. You must work so that you can be productive. The Bible says in John 15, says every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Abide in me, and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So we can see that for you to win souls is a sign of being productive. And God is looking for branches not branches that do not bear fruit. God is looking for branches that will bear fruit so that you can bear more fruit for his kingdom. Today, I pray that when we pray, that we'll become men and women of result in the mighty name of Jesus. And the last letter, letter K, which means kingdom. Which means kingdom. Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace 
and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by men. You can see that the end result or the reason why you are witness, the reason why you are ordained, the reason why you need to have results is for the kingdom of God. Like you mentioned earlier, that for us to experience church growth, you must witness. The reason why you witness is so that you can populate the kingdom of God and depopulate the kingdom of Satan. Today, with Jesus, where we pray, we will have an understanding. Because Mark 1 also tells us, say now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. You must witness. You are ordained to do so. You must yield results. Why? For the kingdom of God. I pray that after today, we'll be intentional to do the work of God. Remember, I told you, Jesus said, my food is to do the will of God. No wonder Jesus told Satan in Matthew 4, say, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. My brother, my sister, God will help us in Jesus' name. So let's thank God for the salvation of our soul. That is the first thing that we thank God. Say, Father, thank you for the salvation of my soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, I thank you for picking me up, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, I thank you for where you picked me from. Father, I thank you from the gutters that you picked me from. Father, I thank you. I thank you. The one that can bring the poor from the dust and the beggar from the donkey. Father, I thank you for where you picked me from. Father, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Take all the glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to thank God for the grace and power. The grace and power. Because we need grace. I told you that you need power. I told you last time that you cannot have results. You cannot be a problem solver if you do not have the Holy Spirit. And I told you the reason why you need the Holy Spirit is because of power. And I told you for you to walk is as a result of power because power is the ability to walk. So I'm going to thank God for the grace and power he has given to you and I. That even the worst sinners can give their life to Christ. It's the power of God. So I pray. I say, Father, I thank you for the grace and power that can change the world's sinners into a saint. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for this great power, this grace that you have released to us, O Lord, that even the world's sinners can become saints. Thank you, Father Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Apostle Paul was a great sinner. In fact, he was persecuting Christians, but God changed his story. Pray. Say, Father, thank you for the grace and power that can change even the world's sinners into a saint. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to thank God for making you and I a vessel unto honor. Bible says that a great house that have different vessels, vessels of honor, dishonor, vessels of gold, vessels of silver, of clay, of wood. Which one do you belong to? Of gold or of wood? So I'm going to thank God for making us a vessel unto honor. Pray. I say, Father, I thank you for making me a vessel unto honor in your hand to win others. Pray. Say, Father, I thank you for making me a vessel unto honor in your hands to win others. Father, we know that it's not by our power. We thank you for making me a vessel unto honor in your hands, O oh Lord, to win others to you, to win others to Christ, to win others. The Bible says that you are the light of the world. Why? Because your light is to drop you from darkness into the marvelous light of God. Pray. Say, Father, I thank you for making me a vessel unto honor in your hands to win others. Take all the glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We've seen an example, Apostle Paul, who was said to be the chief of sinners, but we still read about him today. In fact, we still use his, his words, his, his letters to preach the gospels. I told you that the power of God can turn even a worse sinner into a saint. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray and ask God for help. We need the help of God. I told you 
just like the woman who encountered Jesus at the well. The Bible says that men gave their life just because of what she said. A great sinner, one that had husbands who had married how many times. Even the last one she was living with was not even her husband. But Jesus can use anybody. He can use you, he can use me. Just the way he used this woman. He would have gone to the city to preach the gospel. But Jesus saw the potential in the woman's life. The woman could not see that potential. But Jesus saw the potential. You have that hidden treasure. If only you go out to witness for the glory of God. So I'm going to pray. I say, Father, help me never to take this privilege for granted by not sharing my encounter with your saving power with others in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Father, help me never to take this privilege for granted by not sharing my encounter with your saving power with others. The Bible says this woman shared her experience. She, ex she shared the encounter she had with Jesus. She said, come and see a man a real man, and they came and they heard what happened, and they gave their life to Christ. So that's why I say you have to pray that God will help us never to take this privilege for granted by not sharing our testimony. Each and every one of us, we have an encounter of how Jesus saved us, how we what we are saved. We that we are called the worst sinners can come out and preach the gospel. It is not by your power, it is not by your might, it is by the mercy of God. So that's why I say pray and say, Father, help me never to take this privilege for granted by not not sharing my encounter with your saving power with others. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray that God will give us the grace to recognize opportunities for soul winning everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. There was a time that I, was, I went to Ilori, you know, to collect my letter, call up letter. I was, re, I, was I was being relocated to Jaws because I did not serve when I was supposed to serve. So I had to go to Ilorin to take my letters. And I was uh, on my way going back to Lagos. You know, I preached the gospel. I preached the gospel. The moment I finished, we were almost an accident. Everybody in the bus shouted, except for me. I've already seen the, the, the gates of heaven that if I die, I know I've done the work of God. But nothing happened. God spared us. God spared us that day. My brother, my sister, if we had died and I didn't preach the gospel, what do you think will happen to the passengers that did not hear the word? So you and I must recognize the opportunity for soul winning. It's so that the moment I finish preaching the gospel that we almost had an accident, so I want to pray. I say, Father, help me to recognize opportunities for soul winning everywhere I go from now on in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Father, help me, O oh Lord, to recognize opportunities for soul winning everywhere I go from now on. Father, please help me to recognize opportunities for soul winning everywhere I go from now on. Another example was our pastor that we call Papi. He said that God had to send him to a country. And he ministered to a man, a man that was about to commit suicide. So you must allow God to give you the grace to recognize opportunities for soul winning everywhere you go. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray also that God will order our steps. Like I just mentioned, that God ordered the steps of our pastor. Not in Nigeria to another country in Africa to minister to just one man. That one man was about to commit suicide. God ordered his step. God will order your steps and my steps from today in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray. Say, Father, order the steps of the unsaved. Amen. Say, Father, order the steps of the unsaved into our parish for the salvation Every time we gather in the mighty name of the first, we're going to pray that God will order our steps to those who are unsaved in the mighty name of God. Pray, say, Father, order my steps, oh Lord, order my steps to men and women 
who are still in darkness, those who are still tormented, those who are still in bondage, order our steps in the mighty name of Jesus, so that we can save the lawful captives, so that those who are hell bound can be set free. Father, please order my step, O Lord. Order my step to those who are still living in sin, so that they can hear your word and be saved. And then we're going to pray that God will order the steps of unbelievers into our parish, so that they can experience the glory of God. So we're going to pray. Say, Father, order the steps of the unsaved into our parish for their salvation every time we gather in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help us. The Samaritan woman, she had a, an encounter with Jesus. She went to get water, but she met Jesus, the fountain of life. She was saved, and people that heard that were saved. God ordered a step. God will order your step so that you can pray the gospel, and God will order the steps of men so that they can be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray that God will reveal Jesus as the only source of true satisfaction and fulfillment to everyone thirsty all over the world. True satisfaction. They say money can buy practically everything, but money cannot buy everything. Money cannot buy joy. Money cannot buy salvation. No matter the money you have, you can never be satisfied. Why? Because there is a hole and that hole is a bottomless pit. No matter the wealth, no matter the riches of this world, cannot fill up that hole. And that is why the Bible says that Jesus is at the door, knocking. The only person that can fill up that hole is Jesus Christ. So I'm going to pray and say, Father, reveal Jesus Christ as the only source of true satisfaction and fulfillment to everyone test the over the world in the mighty name of your prayer. Say, Father, Lord, please, O oh Lord, reveal Jesus Christ as the only source. The Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says no one can come to the Father except through the Son. Jesus is the way. He's the only one. The Bible says he's the true light. Saying him was life, and life was light unto man, and light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended in our prey. Say, Father, reveal Jesus as the only source of true satisfaction and fulfillment to everyone thirsty all over the world. Pray. Say, Father Lord, let us hunger for you. Let us test for you. Let us hunger for your word and test for your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, reveal Jesus Christ as the true and the true source of our satisfaction and fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We will also pray for accuracy in all trances as we preach the gospel, that God will help us. God will help us. So we need to ask for what? Accuracy in entrances as we preach the gospel. You can just say a word to you. That word may be nothing, but to the person hearing that word can be everything. Just like my father, my papi, that just preached the word to the man. That word was what the man needed to hear in a time of trouble. So we need God to help us so that we can have accuracy in all trances as we preach the gospel. Pray. Say, Father. We ask for accuracy in all trances, O oh Lord, as we preach the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, please help us, O oh Lord. Father, help us because you said that you give us the spirit. He will tell us what to say, not by our power, not by our might. Father, please, we ask, O oh Lord, for accuracy, O oh Lord, in all trances, O oh Lord, as we preach the gospel, that the word you want us to, 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 to say, that will change the word of others, you will give us that word. You will put that word in our mouth so that it will change the word of people that hear the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, and we ask for accuracy in all trances as we preach the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Then we're going to pray and say, Father, we pray for acceptance and forbid 
any form of distraction as we go out to preach the gospel personally and as a church in the mighty name of God. Pray. Say, Father, we pray for acceptance and forbid any form of distraction, O oh Lord, as we go out to preach the gospel in the mighty name of God. Father, Lord, we pray for acceptance, O oh Lord, and forbid any form of distraction, O oh Lord, as we go out to preach the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to pray. I say, Father, please break down every wall and cultural bar barriers to the gospel everywhere we preach in the mighty name of God. Pray. Say, Father, we break down every wall of cultural bar barriers to the gospel everywhere across the world, across the continent, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we break down, O oh Lord, every wall and cultural barriers, O oh Lord, to the gospel. The Bible said that the kingdom of hell will not prevail. These are one of the things that fight against the church. Cultural barriers. Pray. Say, Father, Lord, we pull down every wall, every wall, Lord, of cultural barriers, O oh Lord, to the gospel everywhere we preach in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pull down every wall, every cultural barriers. One of the things that General Basia mentioned during the workers' meeting was that we were supposed to go to a state to preach the gospel. And about 90% of them were Muslims. But within that four days, because of the power of God, because God brought down the wall of cultural barriers, they were able to build a church within four days in that state. I pray that every wall of barrier, cultural barriers that is against the gospel will be pulled down in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray. Say, Father, add to the redeemed Christian church of God daily. Pray. Say, Father, add to the redeemed Christian church of God numerically, Lord. Father, add to the redeemed Christian church of God in the mighty name of God. Pray, pray. Say, Father, add, O oh Lord, add in numbers, O oh Lord, to the redeemed Christian church of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Father, add to the redeemed Christian church of God, O oh Lord, daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, add, O oh Lord, add to redeem, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we know that it's not by our power. It's not by our strength. Father, please add to our CCG numerically, Lord, daily, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to pray. Say, Father, bless and reward every member of our CCG in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are committed in soul winning, Father, bless them. I told you that when you walk, there must be a result. Pray. Say, Father, Lord, bless and reward because when there's a reward, when there's a result, there's a reward. I mentioned that the Bible expects us to bear fruit. I say, whatever it is that you ask, he will give unto you. When there's a result, there's a reward. Pray. Say, Father, bless and reward every member of our CCG. Those who are committed in soul winning every day, every time, day and night, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please bless those, O oh Lord. Father, reward those, O oh Lord. As they yield results, Father, reward them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those committed, those committed in soul winning, Father, reward them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For as many of you that want to give your life to Christ, in conclusion, the only way you can be a soul winner, the only way you can benefit from the word that God has for you and I, is that you must give your life to Christ. I mentioned that no money can satisfy you. I mentioned that there's a hole in a man's heart. There's a hole, a, like a well, and the only, the only thing or the only being that can fill up that hole is Jesus Christ. And that is why he says that I stand at the door of your heart knocking. He's the only one that can fill up that space. No matter the riches of this world, say, what shall it profit a man if he gains the world and loses his soul? The only way you can receive true satisfaction and fulfillment is if you surrender your life to Jesus. So as many of you that want to join this, this, this path is the right path. I told you that you don't know the end from the beginning. Only God knows the end. I also mentioned that the moment I finished the gospel, the moment I prayed the gospel in that vehicle, we almost had an accident, but God saved us. If only you can just surrender your life to Jesus Christ. You know that whatever happens to you today, there's a reward waiting for you. There's a crown of glory waiting for you. If only you accept Jesus today as your personal Lord and Savior. Just say this after me. I say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I thank you for this great opportunity you have given to me. 
the gift of life, the gift to hear your word. Father, please today, I give my life back to you because you sent your son Jesus to me. Please have mercy on me. Wash me with the precious blood of the Lamb. Make me whole again. And from today, let me witness to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Offering time. Please, let's package a worthy offering to this great God. A worthy offering to this God that sent his son, Jesus Christ, just because of you and I. He demonstrated love. One of the ways of showing love or showing gratitude is by your substance, is by your action, is by your appreciation. So package a worthy offering for this great God. Please, details will be displayed on the screen on how to give your offering and your tithe. And I pray that as you do so, God will open his windows of heaven, release rain upon your land, so that the wealth that God will bless you with, you will use it for his kingdom as we welcome the voices of joy. Amen. we thank you for this worthy offering that I brought to you. For this offering that I brought to you, Lord. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to you. Father, Lord, with a heart of gratitude and appreciation, we pray that this offering will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. We pray that you release the fire that will accept this offering in Jesus' name. And as your word says that we delight in you, you said that you will grant our heart desires. Grant all our heart desires in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please let us to the BIG News. God bless you. This is BIG News. Thank you for joining us online. We thank God for bringing us this far in the year 2023. Specifically, we thank him for the grace to see the new month of November. It's our month of double grace plus and will end with shouts of victory for us all. God bless you and reward your labor of love. For those of us who have testimonies, encourage others by sharing your testimony physically in church during our second services. If you wish to share your testimony, kindly contact Assistant Pastor Tobechuku by the Saturday preceding the Sunday you want to share. Let's give him back the honor. Let's give him back adoration. Let's cover each and every one of these testimonies with the precious blood of Jesus. Alternatively, you can send an email to testimonies at rccgbig.org or you can send a short video of not more than two minutes to the same email address or via WhatsApp on 0703-085-5649. 
In line with God's word to give him thanks in all things, let us thank him for relative peace in our nation and keep praying for our country as well as for the elected and appointed officers in line with God's will based on 1 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. Please listen carefully to the rest of the announcements. If this is your first time connecting with us on any of our platforms, please don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are The Healing Balm on all platforms. Also, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we go live or post new content. Please like our post and drop a comment or ask for any information regarding our online services on the comment section. You can also drop your contact and we'll get in touch with you. Our communion service comes off this Tuesday, 7th of November, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Topic, connect with your source. Our faith link service will take place virtually on Thursday by 6.30 p.m. Connect with us at The Healing Balm on YouTube. Next Sunday, the 12th of November, we will start a series focused on tips to achieve exponential growth at all levels. Make sure you don't miss any of our services. First service, 8 to 9.15 a.m., Sunday school, 9.20 to 10.05 a.m. Second service, 10.10 10 to 11.45 a.m. Have you heard about Vision 2032? Please listen carefully so you can be a part of it. The Redeemed Christian Church of God Vision 2032 40 million membership mandate. The church has experienced a series of waves that have spurred the church to new levels of growth as the church continues to march on. We are gearing up for this new wave that will usher the church into a season of exponential growth. The mandate is the responsibility of every son and daughter of the redeemed Christian Church of God. The vision to grow the church to at least 40 million members by 2032. What is your responsibility to this great mandate? One, Operation 111. One person brings one new person to church and ensures he or she is established in Christ and settled in church. Two, pray daily for the salvation and establishment of souls in our parishes. Three, follow up on your invites as well as new converts until they are established in the church. Four, use your social media and every available platform to talk about Christ, the church, and our programs. Five, Help people get to church each week. Provide transportation or give towards it. I will be part of this new way, God's great mandate to this church, the redeemed Christian Church of God. What about you? Please note that every third Saturday of the month is for evangelism. Join us on the 18th by 7.30 a.m. for this month's evangelism. If you do not have a house fellowship which you attend, please note the addresses on the screen for the one closest to you. In addition, if you want to volunteer your house as a center, please see Sister Mokwelola, Sister Bosse, or Assistant Pastor Tobetuku after the service. We will have a baptism service on the 11th of November. All those who have gone through classes and are interested in getting baptized by immersion should please see Deacon Unduka after service today. We will have a three days of prayer and study of the word to prepare us for a victorious living in the year 2024 from November the 21st to 23rd, from 6 to 7.45 p.m. Theme, how to grow and prosper in troubled times. Are you interested in any media-related skill, like photography, sound, and video editing? The media department of the church will be having a training soon. 
Interested persons should please see the Kanunduka or Brother Coyote after service for more details. We want to use this opportunity to thank everyone who has been giving generously and supporting the church in this season, despite all the challenges. The Almighty God who sees in secret will reward you openly in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you for listening. Us wasn't a mistake. I told you God knows the end from the beginning. So for as many of you that want to get notified for today's faith clinic, the digging deep, the whole 630, even the morning dew, we are holds every Sunday morning. Just do two things. Hit the subscription button, the notification bell, and we'll notify you when we come live for these services. You can like, share, and comment so that YouTube will recommend this to others. God bless you as you obey. Let's take the closing prayer. There was something that this woman did when Jesus spoke to her. The Bible said that the woman left her water pot to preach the gospel. When Jesus, had, when Jesus met Peter, what did Peter do? Peter left his boat to follow Jesus. When, Peter met, when Jesus met Matthew, Matthew left his tax, because Matthew was a tax collector. So we're going to pray that whatever it is that we need to let go, to do the work of God. Father, help us in Jesus. Pray. Say, Father, this week, this month, and for the rest of our life, whatever it is, oh Lord, that we need to let go to do your work, please help us in Jesus. I pray. Say, Father, Lord, whatever it is I need to let go, just like Peter, just like Matthew, just like this woman, please let us leave it behind. Let us leave it behind and follow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory. Be thou exalted, for in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Can we share the grace and fellowship together? Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore, amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever, amen. I pray every wall of barrier, every wall of barrenness, Every wall of stagnation, every wall of laziness is brought down in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.